of all, if you are really anywhere across the metro of southern Indiana, we're getting a lot of Ooh. rain today, Sam. Yeah, it is a wet one. If you haven't noticed by now, stepping out the door, grab the umbrella. Probably a good idea. I'm going to step off screen so you get an idea of the past six hours. Take a look at all this rain. We're finally able to take a nice little breath here, fresh air in Louisville. And, uh, you know, as we hit the midday and lunch hour, but notice there's another band of more rain off to our west. So we're going to be picking up additional rainfall here pretty soon across Kentucky and especially in Metro Louisville. It's basically draped across Paoli right now, English and Potoka Lake. With time, it's going to be continuing to uh, move its way well off to the east. So it's going to be right over Jefferson County. I would say in the next half an hour to about an hour from now. Campbellsville to Greensburg picking up some light rain, possible drizzle, and the heaviest rainfall from this morning now well off and marching off to our east. Take a look at this vast storm system. It is a big time storm system. We're noticing snow as far north as the UP of Michigan and much of southern Ontario by Toronto, down to the south across southern and central. Georgia, even the Panhandle of Florida, we have severe weather that's been underway down that direction. Severe thunderstorm warnings are posted in a line just to the east of Atlanta. Also, locally with the rainfall tallies, much needed rain, must I add, but it's coming down on a really quick clip. So a lot of our roadways are going to be dealing with them, some standing water on them. Please make sure you're being careful with travel today. We've collected over an inch and a half at the airport in Louisville. Bowman Field at 1.37. Huntingburg topping the list in the top three. 1.38, so we're getting a healthy dose of that rainfall. Taking a current look downtown Louisville, you can see our roadway is still staying very wet in a lot of spots. Of course, Temperatures are well above freezing, so that's some good news out of this. But later on tonight, there may be a little bit of some light snow trying to mix into the forecast. And we're going to be continuing to watch the wind as well. So a bit breezy conditions continuing. Sustained wind speed between 10 to 20 miles an hour. Our friends in Jasper dealing with wind speed just over 20 miles an hour. So again, for the remainder of the day today, we're expecting to see just hit or miss isolated to scattered rain showers. And notice as we get into the post sunset hour, the atmosphere is going to be cooling off enough for a little bit of some light snow to be entering the equation. Now the deal is our ground temperature too warm and it just rained all day today, so the ground is going to be too wet for any kind of snow to try and accumulate, but Mother Nature is going to be trying to do its best to really try and bring any kind of snow. Notice by about 10 o'clock tonight and beyond, there will be a couple of scattered little hit or miss light snow showers. And again, we're not really going to see much in the way of accumulation, so impacts are staying minimal from this incoming little burst of light snow tonight. Take a look. Waking up tomorrow is going to be a cold one. Temperatures in the low 30s. The wind chill tomorrow, I promise you, will be well into the 20s, so bundle up as you do get out the door to get your morning started tomorrow. Thursday in the morning, very early, maybe a hit or miss little spotty snow shower up by North Vernon and Scottsburg, but otherwise our Thursday is going to be a lot more sunshine filled than tomorrow. I do think we'll be well into the mid to upper 40s for Thursday. Things get more interesting Friday into Saturday. Notice a 100% chance for rain all day Friday, and there will be some chances for light snow on the back edge of it on Saturday morning. Here's what we do think is going to be the main focus. Breezy wind gusts, heavy rain fall again all day Friday and going into Saturday morning. Some of that may transition over to snowfall. So there's a closer look at that storm system, essentially a copy and paste as to today's storm system. So again, there's our complete week ahead. 100% chance of rain on Friday with some lingering light snow again into Saturday morning, but a much more colder system and chances for snow MLK day into next Tuesday.